Hey, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha, and in this video, you will first have a short introduction to calorimeter. Then you will learn to find the specific heat capacity of a solid by the method of mixer. Now let's move to the content. A calorimeter is a heat measuring device. It generally consists of a vessel and a stirrer, both made of copper. The calorimeter is kept in a wooden frame to prevent the heat exchange with the surrounding. The calorimeter uses the principle of calorimetry to measure the amount of heat energy. And the principle of calorimetry states that, in a thermally isolated system, the heat lost by the hot object is equal to the heat gained by the cold object. Now let's learn to find the specific heat capacity of a solid by the method of mixer. First we take a dry and an empty calorimeter and a stirrer and measure its mass. Let the mass is found to be M1. Let's write it down as mass of calorimeter plus stirrer is equal to M1. Also, the specific heat capacity of calorimeter and stirrer, which is generally the specific heat capacity of copper, is given to be S1. Now, about two third portion of the calorimeter is filled with water and its mass is again measured. This time, let the mass is found to be M1 prime. Let's write it down as mass of calorimeter and stirrer plus water is equal to M1 prime. Now we can find the mass of water M2 by subtracting the first measurement from the second measurement. Next, we will measure the initial temperature of the water and the calorimeter. Let this temperature be theta1. Let's write it down as the initial temperature of calorimeter and water is equal to theta1. Also, the specific heat capacity of water is given to be S2. Now the calorimeter is inserted into the wooden frame to insulate it from the surrounding. Now we take a solid of known mass and unknown specific heat capacity and heat it by passing the steam inside the steam chamber. Let this solid is heated to some temperature theta2. Let the given mass of solid is M3. The initial temperature of the solid is theta2. Let the specific heat capacity of solid is S3, which is not given and we are supposed to find. Now after heating the solid to some temperature theta2, we will quickly transfer it into the calorimeter. Then we will stir the water with the stirrer so that there is proper exchange of heat between the solid and the water and calorimeter. And lastly, we measure the final temperature of the mixture and let this temperature be theta. So let's write it down as the final temperature of the mixture is equal to theta. Now we know that the heat is lost by the hot object and here the given solid is the hot object. So let Q1 is the amount of heat lost by the hot object which is equal to M3 S3 times theta2 minus theta. Please note down that the initial temperature of the solid which is theta2 is greater than the final temperature of the mixture which is theta. Now we know that the heat is gained by the cold objects and here 
The water and the calorimeter are the cold objects. So let's find the heat gained by the water first. The heat gained by water is equal to m2 s2 times theta minus theta 1. Please note down that the final temperature of the mixture which is theta will be greater than the initial temperature of the water which is theta 1. Now the heat gained by the calorimeter and stirrer is equal to m1 s1 times theta minus theta 1. Let Q2 is the total amount of heat gained, which is equal to the heat gained by water plus the heat gained by calorimeter and stirrer. So we get the following expression for Q2. Taking theta minus theta 1 as common, we get the following expression. Finally, we use the principle of calorimetry that is heat lost by hot object is equal to heat gained by cold object. That can be written as Q1 is equal to Q2. Substituting their values, we get the following expression. Finally, we get the following expression for S3. Since we know all the quantities in the right hand side, we can easily calculate S3, which is the specific heat capacity of the given solid. Thanks for watching. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also, press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.